Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. It's Jonathan here for another one. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I right, I'm back. I uh, hope you're back. It's uh, what's today? Tuesday. It's time to hit it, right? Money don't sleep. Your success don't sleep. But I know you're dependent on me. Let's go. So today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin. Um, some things that you know, some questions that I see in a group um, that I would like to make a video on. You know, so I, I'm thinking that maybe you might have that question. Uh, let me see if I can explain it for you, right? I got some music playing in the background. I'm just kind of chilling, right? We're just here chilling, watching some videos. Maybe you can, maybe I can answer one of your questions, right? Kind of hang out, relax, chill, have a deal. Uh, let's look at the markets real quick. Bitcoin, I gotta, I'm got. i under a little cold right now, so I, if I sound a little funny, I do apologize. Um, Bitcoin uh, is up. We're back up, right? I told you guys, don't freaking, like all these people who sold down here, because they, you know, like, whatever. I ain't gonna go there. Bitcoin's up. All right, Ethereum's up. Bitcoin Cash is up. Ripple's up. Litecoin's up. Cardano. It's a sleeper. You gotta watch that Cardano, right? Um, everything is doing pretty good, right? Uh, that Verge. That's some drama on that Verge, boy. Golly. Tron. BitConnect, girl. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what to do with BitConnect. I don't know. Like, it's like one of those. I don't know. You know, like, y'all know what I'm talking about? It's that relationship with Big Connect. It's crazy. Uh, everything else, you know, it's good. But what I want to show you, some other news that I've seen today for you. F shit. Sorry. Let's uh, pop on over here to Regal. Guys, you don't know, Reg they just smashed Regal coin. All right. They don't know what they're doing over there. But what I, what I do want to point out, their market cap finally got... Um, updated and their circulating supply got updated and you can see the max supply right here versus the circulating supply but all this information got updated which was um, not so maybe their exchange is gonna go live all right fingers crossed for everybody in regal coin maybe their exchange is gonna go live right look at that it's like yeah I don't know what the hell <laughs> Right, so other than that, that's all I got for the markets today. Let's just pop on here. Look, look, guys, look, listen to me. I'm gonna let you in a group, right? I'm gonna let you in a group with me. You going in with me? This is a um, invitation only, right? So be quiet and listen to what I got to tell you. We're just gonna go in here. We're gonna look, right? So um, this is the group where we at, right? And uh, I was going to scroll down. There's my boy Justin. All right, big shout out to Justin if you watch my videos. you the man. Um, so we're just going to scroll down the timeline. Some questions. They usually ask questions in here. It's pretty funny, right? But uh, I know everybody has these same kind of questions because I did too. Uh, I can't wait for the tech card to come out. I'm like, super excited about the tech card. And we're just chilling today. We're hanging out chilling all right be like you over my shoulder as you if you're right here sitting next to me over my shoulder that tron so i tell you guys see like this question right here um I, of course i can't read that but this person says what is ledger um and i mean people in here try to help them right they try to help them Hey, look, let's see, recommendations complete your Bitcoin Wealth Club, step five, fast start, see, education. Guys, if you're not in Bitcoin's Wealth Club, of course, you can find the link in the description, okay? But he's right, right? He's so right. If you went through your education, you would know, and you wouldn't be back here asking these kind of crazy questions, right? All right, so, like I said, Education, okay, that's all I want to say. Now, you know what a link is. Ledger, what is Ledger? Ledger is a hardware wallet. Ledger, I only know about Ledger. I'm not going to tell you about Trezor or anything, rest of them. Um, well, not like ex exclusively. I have a Ledger Nano S. Ledgers or hardware wallets like the Ledger, I, I thought that you can like, like a USB and you would put your Bitcoin on this USB. And like, you know how you would put information or files on a USB 
and they're like they're off they're on a usb that's not how a ledger works there's no coins actually on the ledger okay uh only thing that's on the ledger is a um your security phrases and your uh keys pretty much to your wallet um so let me see if i can explain this a little bit better um say we're right here on a computer right and we make an account so we go to coinbase.com everybody's everybody's hopefully been to coinbase or to any kind of exchange right to make an account and you have to on that on on when you make your account all your secret words come on the screen and it says write them down right um, or you have to type like it, and once you get through a couple, a couple ways down the, um, the registration process, it'll tell you to type in word one or word five or word seven or whatever crap it says, right? And you type it in, right? If you listen to John McAfee, he tells, he, one, one thing he harps on is, um, uh, if you've ever been a, a, to a, a porn website or any kind of website like that, then you have a keystroke logger on your device, right? Or a, um, uh, keystroke logger and a screen capture software um, on your device. He says most of, or if not all, electronic devices like cell phones or computers um, have the screen recording or key logging software. So Ledger and um, Treasure, I won't say that right, have a screen on the actual device itself to where the, those, those phrases and those keys come up on the screen so there's no way for anybody to see that screen except for you and the wall behind you right um so there's no way for that, that information to be recorded there's no uh, way for that information to be captured because it's actually on the device itself so it keeps your keys to your wallet on that device your your wallet is still on your on your desktop right or your or, or online or whatever you want to call it right that's uh, still connected but there's no way to access that because you have the keys phys you physically hold the keys in that ledger you have to have that ledger you have to input your pin um and then you have to have ledger connected to your computer and you have to access your wallet there's other more features like that as you can add on to it but typically as long as you have the ledger hooked to your computer with the wallet open you put the pin in you can gain access uh, there's other features like i said you can add to it you can add two-step authentication. You can add um, all kind of stuff like cell phone authentication. You got email authentication, all, all kind of stuff. But the ledger itself just holds the keys to your actual wallet, okay? And there's no way that anybody can see your phrases or your pin or anything when you made your account. That's why. So they, they call it, if you hear people, um, my computer's gonna die. If you hear people talk about cold wallets, cold storage wallets, or offline wallets um that's what we're talking about your ledgers or your um, treasures or anything like that or your um uh paper wallets oh, i can be next when i die um give me one second i'm gonna find my charger all right we're all connected we should be good uh okay so let's keep scrolling look over some more questions Uh, GDAX, Coinbase, local Bitcoins, Gemini, Uphold. This is a survey. <clears throat> Bitcoin ATMs. These are going to be exchanges. I use, for me personally, I use GDAX, Coinbase, Gemini. Don't have any ATMs here. Blockchain. I don't know if they're exchange. Well, I mean, I, I don't know if they're exchange their wallet. Coin Mama. All right. So that's what these are. If you guys hear these, these are exchanges. Um, blockchain is a wallet. I mean, you can like shape shift, but I don't classify it as exchange. John McAfee is like, this dude's on fire, dude. I don't know what's wrong with him. But he's only coin a day or coin a month or whatever now coin a month now he was on the coin a day so the guys following him let's see where does USI pack USI get it there BTC price by increased whatever all coins just crossed 50,000 personal on this big connect 
they, we on fire over here, boy. The big card, congrats. Please help me new to this, but I need it so badly. See, people like this are desperate, which I get, right? They need, they need money, stuff like that. Just get in. Look, welcome. Just start fast start training. Come in, get the fast start training, and start taking action. Don't sit on it. You start. Yeah, take action. Right? You learn. You whatever you learn, you go do. Learn, do. Learn, do. Learn, do. Stop thinking. Everybody follows me. Stop thinking. Learn something. Do it. Learn something. Do it. Everything else fills in the gaps. Learn something. Do it. Learn something. Do it. Don't I, I'm a, I don't think about it. You think about it, you're going to... Uh, analysis sets home paralysis. It happens every time. Am I making a wrong decision? Am I doing this? Am I doing that? Am I doing this? All right. Learn something. Do it. Learn something. Do it. Learn something. Do it. Trust me. The package reaches 140. Um, yeah, it, it expires. This person's asking them that what happens when their pack hits 140 percent. The pack expires. That's what happens. And the 80 20 split is you reinvest 80, you draw 20. Favorite wallets, uh, treasure is that other hardware wallet, nan nan nano ledger. Uh, S is your hardware wallet, Exodus is a um desktop or a laptop desktop only wallet blockchain is a hybrid wallet because it has a online feature and it has a mobile feature all right uh, keep key i think that is a hardware wallet mycelium wallet is a mobile wallet only and bitpay is a mobile wallet and a um so it's going to be the hybrid so it's, uh, you have it on your mobile and you can have it on your desktop or laptop computer but uh, of course, BitPay has a card with it. Do, do I need to invest? See, what do I need to what do I need to do to invest? Thanks. Questions like this, um, it, 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 they're, they're all answered. You know, that's just people come in and they don't know what to do, so they just ask a question. But if you go to the top, which we'll go to the top later, and you see why, and you know, leaders like me and myself and Justin and stuff like that, sometimes it gets frustrating. I just know how to handle it, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I get it, right? We was all there. I was there. And sometimes people like that, they forget that they were also there at one point, right? Um, and I, if I make you guys feel like that, Please forgive me. I never want you to feel like that as long as you watch some videos on my channel. All right. I need you guys to say, hey, look, LT, you need to step back and focus, right? Like, look, wake up. I never want to let you go. I never want to make you guys feel like that. Okay. Uh, what I need to do, uh, what I need to do to invest. Thanks. Um, that's, a, that's a question. Um, see, that's the perfect example. What do I need to do to invest? Well, like, what do you want to invest? How much do you want to invest? How much money do you have? What's your goals? What do you, what's your plan? Like, what are you trying to get out of this? Like, are you investing in Bit, BitConnect, uh, USI Tech? Um, are you investing in altcoins? Are you, like, what are you trying to do, right? So if you guys ask me this kind of question, what I get, because it's a simple question, right? To me, I know so much in my mind, I need other questions to be answered before I can answer this question, right? If you came at me and said, hey, I want to invest in USI Tech, I have, a, I have like 10000 to invest in USI Tech, um, and I'm trying to use this platform to pay my mortgage or pay for my kids' college or pay my bills off or, you know, um, I need a plan, a strategy or something like that to be able to help you out. Um, to point you in the right direction that what do I need to invest things? No, I get it. It's a simple question. Like, what do I need? What do I need to do to invest? Well, you need to buy, you need to buy Bitcoin first, right? You need to go to one of the exchanges, an exchange that's, that's um, listed in, in your country that let you buy in your country first. Once you buy Bitcoin, then you can go from there. How much Bitcoin do you buy? How much can you buy? How much can you afford? You know, stuff like that, because people say, well, I can only afford a hundred dollars. Well, okay, that's fine. I started with a hundred dollars myself. So let's go from there. And here's, here's what we'd have to scale or, or mold your plan around, um, investing your little hundred dollars. Well, if you come at me and say, Hey, well, LT, I got 10,000 to invest. That's a different story. Now we can kind of tailor it to that. You see what I'm saying? You see why when you ask questions like that to some people or some YouTubers, it kind of gets either ignored or hard to answer. That's why, because it says, what do I need to do to invest? Well, 
why are you investing? What do you want to invest for? What's your plan? How do you look at it going down the road? You know, um, I need, I need, we need to know those type of things. So that's why getting training first, go through the Bitcoin's Wealth Club training, right? Go through all the modules. And then by the time you get through all the modules, these kind of questions would be answered already. So that way, when you do ask me a question, you're like, hey, LT, I need, um, I have 10 grand. I want to invest in uh, USI Tech. I want to buy 100 packages. Um, and I want to diversify. So I need to find another platform that I can put some money into. And I want to use USI Tech to pay my mortgage off. I'm still working a nine to five. Uh, I want to keep my money offline because you'll know all this stuff when you go through the training. I'm like, okay, boom, 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 boom. Easy, done, next, let's go, right? Let's go, send me some screenshots. And then you're like super pumped. That's Justin and D, the Christmas thing. Uh, what is USI Tech? Please have me further explanation. Like, why though? There's plenty of videos. Look at this tab over here videos, files, right? Everything's here. Everything's here, guys. Uh, what is USI Tech? Hmm. Guys, how long would it take for the payment to confirm? See people like this? Is, I, I, everybody's been here, right? I just bought one pack. How long would it take for a payment to confirm? That means he has Bitcoin, he transferred it to a big USI tech, and he bought a package, um, and there's nothing in his back office, and he's freaking out. What I tell you guys about mindset? What I tell you guys about what kind of person that you got to be when you're investing in cryptocurrency? Right? It's scary. He had that gut feeling that I told you guys so much about. He had that feeling in his gut. He's like, I just did something that is above and beyond a natural thing that I'm used to doing. And he's freaking out. And that's why he posted. Put yourself in the mindset of this person who just made this post. He's freaking the fuck out. He's like, I just paid this money that just went virtual and I don't know where the fudge is at. I don't know what the hell is going on right now. All right? So he's reaching out for help. All right? And most YouTubers, most big top dudes don't have time to answer these type of questions because they think they're ridiculous, but they forget where they come from. And that shit pisses me off. All right? And you can tell him I said that. But other than that, how long does it take? It'll show up um, usually within 24 hours. Or um, if you force restart, I don't know if that button's still there anymore. If you force restart, it'll, it'll show up. All right? <clears throat> USI Tech is pretty good at it. Videos like this, we do Zoom trainings um, every, you know, almost every week, every twice a week sometimes, right? These guys need to come on here and these Zoom trainings. Watch it; it's only forty-seven minutes long. How much is your success worth to you, right? It's a couple minutes. You're, you're fucking off anyway, right? And watching up these Zoom trainings. See what I'd tell you. We just talked about this, right? We just talked about this same exact thing. Um, until BitConnect starts getting more, they're scared. They got a lot of money in, in Bitcoin. They don't want it. They still got this. The, the person on their left shoulder, timeline is the bubble is going to crash, right? And they see Bitcoin going down, and they're about ready to sell their Bitcoin and get their cash back, right? Because they're scared. They have that same gut feeling that we just talked about. That uneasy feeling, but that feeling that you're feeling in your gut is a feeling of you succeeding. You're stepping into your greatness. It's starting to come to you. You're starting to become your own financial institution. All this world that you're about to adventure into is pretty fucking scary, right? Because there's no guardrails. There's, if you step off the edge, you're going to fucking fall, right? Um, and I get it. We've all been there, right? And I'm going to, I'm going to do my best to be here with you. That's my job here on this channel. To help me sign up for all these opportunities, have serious problems understanding, uh, typing, navigating web pages. I'm very eager, but lack the computer skills. I'm very see this person right here, his sponsor should have jumped all over it, right? But usually, usually, right? 
the, their sponsor is somebody that has like a thousand, three thousand, whatever people under them, and they don't have any time to do that because they're so bombarded. What they say, they're so busy um, that they say, right? They're so this, they're so that, but they're also telling you to hit the link in the description to sign up now. But they're so eager and 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 this and that, right? But then when you do sign up, they're like, dude. I, oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy. I forgot, right? Or oh, I didn't see that, right? I, I just come on. Where were you at before you got to where you are? When people forget where they come from, that shit pisses me off. I hope you can get that in my voice right now. I know I got the I got the jazz in the background, right? But that shit pisses me off. His sponsor should have should have PM'd him. Boom. The sponsor should have PM'd him like, bro, I got you. And and then, and then post it right here. PM'd him and said, hey, look, bro, I got you. Boom. But I bet you the sponsor don't even fucking know. It's all about, everybody, everybody's all about themselves. That shit pisses me off. Boom, at the USA Tech announcement. People excited. I love seeing people excited. See right here. This is the success that I'm talking about. When you guys start, when I start seeing you guys post stuff like this, that shit, like I don't know how to describe it, but that shit fires me up. See, I look, I like the comment on this one, um, but that shit fires me up. My, my first 14 packages, because I take myself back to that time when I just bought my first 14 packages, right? Or my first packages. I know the feeling that I had every time I see that, especially if I've been a part of this person's success and I watch him, you know, and I look like, dude, like, you know, I remember back then he was needy, you know, what the fucking wallet was, you know, and I don't see him buying them. Like, I don't know. It's just like watching kids grow up. I just, I just get, I like it. Um, but yes, this is all I want you guys to send me. Boom. But my first, team, first 14 packages and I love it, right? Stay in the game. Stay hustling. What exchange or wallets are the group using to purchase Bitcoins to USA Tech BTC packages? Uh, of course, they're recommended wallets. Look, it was in the file section, the recommended wallets, and it's but pasted it there. Because we, in this group here, we provide all the information that you can ever need or want. But I do recommend a couple wallets like a ledger. Of course, that is a mandatory wallet, but I know it's, you know, it's cost money for a ledger uh, or a treasure, uh, whatever you want. Um, I don't really use Exodus so much because it, it, it was the speed. The fees are expensive and they were expensive before the rise in Bitcoin price. Uh, I use blockchain. I recommend blockchain, Coinbase or GDAX and a treasure or a ledger in OS for my exchanges and wallets or mycelium wallets if you want to and of course BitPay to be doing big connect as well is there a benefit to doing both uh this is a good question there's always a benefit to doing both yes we are here in USI tech but um not just big connect but any kind of any anything else because you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket but you don't want to put your basket without a bottom or you don't want to put your eggs in in a basket without a bottom you know what i'm saying like chain group for example um big petite for another example um but another platform of course big connect's been around the longest um for a lending platform but something else you want to diversify your funds without 
diversifying your focus. That's different. You can diversify your funds, but don't diversify your focus because we have already talked about that, right? Focus is the most important thing that you can ever own or possess in your life. D don't split your focus, but you can you can just split your funds so you can get paid from USI Tech and you can get paid from BitConnect coming to one person, right? And then you find that the average millionaire, the average millionaire or billionaire has at least seven to 12, seven to 12 income streams. Think about that. If you read my the books that I recommend, uh, one of the books um, from Grant Cardone, uh, the Millionaire Booklet, he'll tell you so, he'll tell you the same thing, right? How many people do you need to pay you a thousand dollars a day to get a million dollars? How many people do you need to pay three hundred dollars a day to get a million dollars? You do the math. We're just answering questions here, guys. If you just jumped in, we're answering questions um, that I think some of you guys may have. And I'm giving you access to a group that I'm in. I may give you guys this cheat sheet right here if you don't have it. I may just get it and put it in the comment section. It's okay, I guess. But it gives you the exchanges, useful websites, telegram groups, podcasts, learning and tra uh, training, success stories being built, 300 packages is a lot of money. I don't like to focus on these dudes who's making all this money. I like to focus on this about a hundred back of this has six thousand dollars by the way. So uh, rebuy extra packages the goal is 170 by the end of the year. See these set goals. This guy set a goal. He knows where he's going. Right? Guy that's another important thing. Know where you are going when you get into the crypto space or anything, right? You don't get in your car and just fucking drive and not go anywhere. All right, you get in your car and you drive because you're going somewhere you know where you're going, right? You don't go get up out of your bed or off the couch and just like wander around the house. You get up and you know where you're going. Same thing when you're investing. You have to know where you're going because once you know where you're going, you'll always get there. You understand? I'm about to wrap this up. I'm about to go in about 30 minutes. 30 minutes now. It's good hanging out with you guys. I hope you guys like got some information out of this. Uh, if you did, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, my name's Jonathan. People call me LT. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. And uh, we're going to keep on going here. If you like it, can anyone recommend a wallet? What for desktop and on paper? see this type of question you can see now you've been doing this for about 30 minutes now you see how frustrated you can get right i'll just answer this question um paper wallets right desktop wallets what is a desktop wallet think about it i just told you right um uh exodus desktop wallet People frustrated with Coinbase. Coinbase can be frustrating. I personally don't use Coinbase. I use GDAX, which is owned by Coinbase, but I don't use Coinbase. The well, only reason why I recommend Coinbase is because it's user friendly. But I'm hearing people start to recommend Bitcoin.com. I haven't checked it out yet, so don't take that for official recommendation for me. Just um, um. That's what I'm hearing.
Damn, we're still on the 24th. This is a busy uh, little group we got going on here, guys. How do I respond to notifications on Facebook? Seriously? Well, how does it take for me? Oh. I'm trying to find the Coinbase. See? Another one. Another one. That funny feeling in this guy. Right? <laughs> He's like, oh my god, what am I doing right now? Right? How long does it take? <clears throat> my money's lost. It just went out there in the interweb. It is gone. I don't know what to do. Um, congrats, by the way. That's my thing. It's congratulations. It, it, it'll be there. Right? Um, check the Block Explorer. If you're using uh, Bitcoin, check the Bitcoin Block Explorer. Put your wallet address in or the... Um, um, what is the word I'm looking for, guys? Help me out. Hash. Put the hash into the block explorer or the Bitcoin address that you're sending to into the block explorer and it'll tell you how many confirmations that is taken. And if the platform doesn't tell you how many confirmations that it actually needs, it'll tell you um, on the block explorer. How to buy Bitcoin packages. See what I'm saying? Sponsors should have jumped all over it. Pin post in the group. All right. I've been rocking with this chick for a while, but anyway, um, let's go back to the top, guys, real quick. I want to wrap this up. Let's go back to the top. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Hang on. Don't go nowhere. 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 When we first get into the group, all right, boom, you scroll down. First post. You see my boy Justin, right, in his uh, car. He just bought. Uh, okay, look. Look at these things. Best wallets and exchanges. Boop. Takes you to it. Um, last fast start training we just did as a group. Boom, takes you to it. Last USI Tech training. Um, latest, I'm sorry, latest USI Tech training. Bitcoin billionaire strategy. Boom, it takes you to a strategy guide for building and compounding your USI Tech business. Boom, takes you to it. Financing options, all right, for these guys who don't got money, all right. Um, you can use OPM, what we call other people's money. OPM is other people's money. Right, there's banks or financial institutions out there that'll lend you money, right? And you can invest it into the cryptocurrency and pay that loan back way faster than you would if you would use your credit card to buy some bullshit, right? Like you just bought for Christmas, right? Because now you got to pay that money back. But if you to borrow that money and invest in crypto, you probably could have paid it back 10 times faster, tenfold, and still have some cash left over and still be earning every day, right? Because you're compounding, of course, right? Shake so your head up and down. Yes, yes, LP, I'm compounding every day, right? All right, guys. Other than that, uh, if you like what I'm what I'm putting out on this channel, I need some feedback from you guys. Smash the like button below. Uh, we got the jam pan in the background, right? Um, other than that, guys, it's getting late here. Good night. I see you on the next one.